Hey guys, so if you want to take this image sequence and use FFmpeg to convert this in into MP4, the first thing you need to do is make sure you have it installed. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my command prompt. I'm going to type in FFmpeg. I do have it installed, so I'm going to see something like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete mine really quickly. There we go. All right, let's save that. So now if I go ahead and search for FFmpeg, I'm going to see this because my operating system cannot find this executable. So if you're seeing this, you don't have it installed. So let's go ahead and install it. So I'm going to search for download FFmpeg, click the first link right here. We don't care about the source code unless you do and then feel free to download it. I'm just going to grab the package and executable. So I'm going to go to release build and I'm going to grab the full release right here. All right. So I have the seven zip file. I'm going to go ahead and unzip this. Delete that file. I'm going to rename this just for brevity. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this into my program files folder. Great. So what I need to do is I need to find the executable. There it is. I'm going to copy this path and then I'm going to go into my edit system environment variables. I'm going to go into environment variables. I want the path. I'm going to hit edit and new, and I'm just going to bring in that path. So it's going to be pointing to my executable. If you don't do that, this isn't going to work. I'll click OK. If you had a command prompt open, please close this first or it will not work. And now I can have FFmpeg installed. So there you go. In the next video, we'll look at how to use FFmpeg to convert our image sequence into an MP4.